As you continue looking for work, you're going to run across a lot of recruiters. Basically, some recruiters are going to be attached directly to the employer, and some recruiters are through like a staffing agency or recruiting firm. But what types of recruiters should you avoid so you can keep your personal information safe and to also assure that you are applying for a legitimate job? My advice is to, number one, stay away from the recruiter who is clearly a scammer. The recruiter who right out of the gate is asking you for your personal information. They are asking for your date of birth, your social security number, your address. They'll say things like, oh, we don't have your address on file. But how could they even have your address on file if you've never applied for a job to work with them in the first place? So they want to obtain your information so then they can go on to do other things with your data. So you want to be very careful when it comes to working with a recruiter that doesn't even really have a job in mind that you can apply for. And that's going to segue into my tip number two is dealing with a recruiter that is uncertain about the job they would like for you to apply to. They can't pronounce the title. They have no idea what the requirements are. And then they have no idea who the client is. So to get to the bottom of some of that nonsense, you want to ask things like, are you the exclusive recruiter on this requisition? And if they don't have an answer, then they're just out collecting information and collecting resumes. All right. The next type of recruiter that you want to avoid working with is a desperate recruiter. They are just the ones that are on an auto dialing system and they are just calling people at random. They're sending emails at random. They're just throwing noodles at the wall just to see who is going to respond, who is going to submit their information. And for these, they don't have a relationship with the employer. They are just collecting your data and just shooting it out to whoever is going to pick it up. They have no strategy, no technique. They are just wasting their time and wasting your time. So steer clear of these types of outfits. And there are a lot of them that are out there on the market right now. Considering the unemployment rates for this year, as well as the number of layoffs that have occurred, these scam artists are out there offering anything and everything so they can make a quick buck. The next tip is a non-responsive recruiter. And if you have been in the job market for any amount of time, the non-responsive, the ghosters, the ones who just can't make a connection or reconnect with you. And I'm talking about the ones even after you've interviewed with them. And after you have had phone calls, video interviews, and all that other stuff, they go completely ghost. And it sucks. And it's very disheartening, discouraging, and exhausting to deal with these types of recruiters. I can only assume and only guess what's going on with them is that they have moved on to another requisition if they're working for a recruiting firm. Their focus has maybe shifted over to a higher commission pos position that they're trying to fill for another client. Or in some cases, and, and I would say a high percentage of cases, they really never had the contract in the first place. So unfortunately, a lot of recruiters will get you on the line, but then they don't have that relationship with the hiring manager that you thought that they did. So a lot of deals fall through. Another recruit recruiting firm could come in and present a candidate. And then that recruiter that you were working with has lost that deal. And so they never really circle back to you to let you know what your status is in the process because they never really had a full grasp of that position in the first place. All right, so am I hitting home on any of these tips that I'm sharing with you today? All right, so the last one 
Are the recruiters with a bad reputation? It is so easy to be able to obtain this information. They don't have a website and what website they do have, clearly they're just collecting information. The ones who have bad reviews online, the ones that aren't very nice in the forums and the ones that are just blasting information all over the place. You want to steer clear of the ones with a bad reputation because as a hiring manager, when they receive a candidate that comes to their desk, that it's coming from a recruiter with a bad rep, they're not going to select any candidate that comes from them. So you want to be careful if you are actively working with a recruiter, someone who is putting your information out there in front of hiring managers and they're non-exclusive, you want to be very careful with them and make sure that they have a good reputation before you give them the right to represent you. Now, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about how to circumvent that process when working with recruiters. And I'll see you in the next video.